what I did live at Gotham on Comedy Central back in aught nine, uh, I was really having one of those moments, like after, because I, I went after I taped the set went fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Comedy Central people seemed to be pleased. Mm-hmm. Uh, I felt like I was in show business. Yeah. Even though my next gig was in a yurt in Idaho. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's show business too. <laughs> yes, it is. It's more the carnival variety. But so I was, I mean, I was having a moment, like a total New York moment, mm-hmm. this great fucking thing where it's like, yeah, I just did Comedy Central. Things are obviously things are going to start happening for me <laughs> that's, now <laughs> that's right obviously they're gonna book me for a half hour because i just dazzled them with my five minutes right. probably an hour special after that <laughs> i wonder which manager i should get you know <laughs> all yes. these things are going through my head also i'm a little buzzed uh because you know the beers are only like nine dollars there so you really gotta watch yourself <laughs> So, but anyway, so I'm at this after party, right? Mm-hmm. And I know you know this, but mm-hmm. I was at this after party. Everyone's like very nice to me. Uh, heads of programming and shit are like saying, mm-hmm. oh, you were great, blah, blah, blah. And then I get a text mm-hmm. from someone from HBO who I had met like two years earlier at the HBO Comedy Festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I can say your name's Rachel. In my phone, it just said Rachel HBO mm-hmm. because I had met her there and I had her phone number. <laughs> so so I'm having this great Comedy Central schmoozing moment in New York. I get a text mm-hmm. from Rachel HBO. That's what I have her in my phone. And it says, where are you? Everyone's talking about you. Wow. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even know she was here. Okay, now it's a battle. Is Comedy Central going to put on my hour special or is it HBO? Because you know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's probably up to my new manager I haven't picked yet. I'm like, I, I, so I'm like, so HBO person's here. She saw my set. It went so well. People are talking about me. This could not get better. Another round. Just one beer, actually. Just one. Can I get a Round 450 for, for half a Bud Light? Is that possible? Uh, so, so, and then, so I text back, where are you? Because I thought she was in the bar at the after party. Yeah. Eight long minutes later, text back to me. Oops, that wasn't supposed to go to you. <laughs> My dreams. My dreams. Man. What did you plan in those eight minutes? Oh, what did I was going to open the HBO special with? Because <laughs> I was your I, pants, I was right? kind of drunk, too. So I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll never have to do Laughlin again. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and then it was just like, it was still a great night, but it was like, it went from like, just for a second, it was like, I can't believe this is happening. And I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have believed. <laughs> I know. And then two weeks ago, I get a call from uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, right. Because right. if you're a comedian and you get a phone call with the LA or that's from LA or New York and you don't know what it is, you're like, I've got to be fucking great. And it's usually <laughs> Wells Fargo telling me I owe money on the credit card, but whatever. Uh, and so they call and they're like, hey, this is so and so from uh, Nickelodeon. I'm like, Hello? Yes, I am available <laughs> for season two of Nick Mom Night Out. Sure, I could host this time. Uh, you know, all these positive things are going through my head. And, the, and then he's like, he's like, is this, um, I can't remember the name. It was a woman's name. Sandy. He's like, is this uh, Sandy Vallejo? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is Gabriel Rutledge? You, you're not, Sandy Vallejo's not there? And I'm like, no. And he's like, Gabriel Rutledge. He's like, are you a comedian? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I must have got the numbers fucked up. And then he just hangs up. Like, Sir. <laughs> he might not have said fucked up, actually. But, but it was, I didn't, I didn't have that much excitement. But still, like, when you get a wrong number from show business, you're like, what the fuck? But I could do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this Sandy Vallejo is, but I got more jokes, man. <laughs> God. After I die, I'll be like, oh, yeah, welcome to heaven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we were actually on. looking for Sandy Vallejo. <laughs> you go back to Laughlin. 